All right, good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. I am Yosrul, and welcome back to Robocop Rogue City, where Antonovsky's stay in jail turned out to be about as short as we expected to be. Good news, Lewis is back on the force. Bad news, Dr. Blanche wants me to call her instead of her coming into the station to do the usual evaluation. And it, apparently she sounded worried. So let's see what she's got to say. Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what to do. Who to trust. Not what seems to be the Beckham. problem. My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. OCP have Except yanked it. If comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology and I don't trust OCP. Smart woman. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. So they're going to come for her. Except you. The moment where Becca realizes now? that, Home. which you is are where. Not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. Which means that Becca has decided to seize the data and shut her down. What happened? Sir, can you please calm down? I'm a respectable citizen. I won't be treated like this. What's going on? Murphy, you busy? Apparently not. What's going on? This guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. What call for help? Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Wait, the one by the old man's apartment? Estevez, wrong thing to say. My family has been serving uh, that neighborhood for generations. Understandable, but the wrong thing to say. I have many offers to buy out the shop, but I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. Uh -huh. I need to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy. I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Okay. Washington is not the sort of person who'd ignore a call. And yet this guy is adamant that his call got ignored. Okay, let's Something's see what's going, going on. In the locker room. Let's check it out. Uh-oh. All right, well, better go talk to... Hang on. That's regrouping. I need to go talk to Wash, who should be in dispatch. Yeah, he's not in surveillance. Right, journal tracking. What have we got? Hello, Dale. Welcome, welcome. Right, f fishy situation. Track that. Investigate the disturbance in the dispatch room. Right, stompy, stompy, stompy. Okay, there's dispatch. Through the locker room, take a left. Hey, what's up? It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. And that's, that's not, not what right. he said. I answer all. Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Thank you, Steph. Stand down. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit. Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Okay, so now we've got two calls that didn't go through. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. <laughs> I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. Okay, maybe have a word, get Drag Steflog to have a look at this as well. I think the problem started when OCP brought new equipment in. 
I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss as this stuff is top of the line. Because Maybe you can have a look at it. Because OCP have rigged the switchboard somehow. Let's see what we get. Scanning material. There's been a modification. Okay. Handset functionality is in order. Radio receiver is fine. And input panel is fine, but there's been a mod some of the circuitry control panel looks okay so what are we missing found something this cable yes out of place. i will see where it leads okay follow the cable okay cord circuit functions are in order follow the cables Everything else seems to be okay. Now, cable. Uh, do, 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 do. I'd be happier if I could actually track where the cable went. Doesn't seem to go out of the room. So, where are? Ah, tracks behind here. Tracks through that. Oh, scans through a radio receiver. are on their way and we'll be with you shortly. I haven't even finished my last sentence and you... Thank you for contacting the police. So Stay somebody safe. rigged an answer phone message and calls are being diverted away from Washington. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? Yeah, it's been sabotaged. Been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Because they're being diverted. Yeah, it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There was a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. Okay, watch back in the field, eh? Good luck. I can't undo the injustice you suffered, but I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kuzak. Who will do nothing? Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? Sounds I like agree. a twofer, yeah. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? Yep. Looks like we're going to head back to old Detroit once we're done there. So, Washington is still supported. Steph owes Washington an apology. And I need to go check in with the rest of the force. Yoink. So, what do we know? Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. Uh-huh. Where? In the serve room. Who else, sir? Uh... Who else? The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So... Let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. So, we have a code name. And it's not one of Beckett's, because he doesn't so believe in, in cyborgs. So someone working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? The Sorry old man. to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Yeah, Robo CEO. Huh. You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. 
<laughs> Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Well, good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for. Him. Mm, these guys are the gang. Them? Them Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy, real high tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. Uh, I will pay huh. Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Okay, so can't wait to go back out there, partner. Oh, of course, Lewis You're is back with me. Anywhere. Oh, no, Lewis isn't going with me. Swords. I need you here. That's the end of the discussion. Uh, apparently, no, I'm not getting my partner back. No, oh, not like I really need it. The whole one cyborg army thing. Right, so Becca is heading off to present an expo of some kind. We're gradually Murphy, working out what's going on. Mayor Kusak wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. I'd rather gouge out my eyes with a rusty spoon, but I suppose we'd better. Uh. Mayor Kuzak again. I did, Frankenstein. Thank you. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, <laughs> that bribing voters is illegal. So it's bribing police but officers. If that's what it takes, you know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. Sounds really carries in that do locker room, doesn't it? To support me. I will think about it. Sure. Take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. Uh huh. So we're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars, and the next thing you know, they're back on the streets. Why even bother? Because it takes them off the streets, even for a couple of days. Alright. Don't think there's anything else to deal with here, so... Let's get out onto the streets. To the garage! Oh, hello, Anne. Really? S smoke break on the sly again? Right. Back to Detroit. So I need to check in with the doctor and I need to speak to Wash as well. Follow up on those diverted calls. The electrical plug in the background is definitely disturbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's OCP. It's all done on the cheap. Right. And here we are again. As happy as can be. Okay. So. Murphy, are you on your way to see Dr. Blanche? Yes. Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. That would be awkward. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Yep. Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. Alright, Dr. Blanche first, then. Meet up at the hotel. Just a reminder, somebody tried to grab all her research notes on the sly, but since she kept them offline, sensible of her. Oh, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Mm -hmm. um, which means that they're probably going to make a play for her next with guns. And you get a headache just thinking about politics. Yeah, that would be about right. Bad or worse You're with those too two. Early. The bachelorette party starts at eight. Uh -huh. I'm here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by the hour hotel. People don't usually give names. But she probably Dr. did. Blanche is in her fifties, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room four oh five. Thank you. Thank you, citizen. So, you aren't the real Robocop? Yes. Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you could. <sighs> That's not why we're here, however. I suppose it would be, wouldn't be old Detroit if she didn't seem that it was a by the hour CD motel. I mean, what do you expect? Right, 4.05. It's you. Yes. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Yes. Not as long as I am here. But the moment I tried to leave. Mm -hmm. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Uh -huh. Does anyone else know about your research? Well, Becca hired her. OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? 50 50 you between him and Becca. No, but after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. Nice. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. Probably. I will find them and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? Hey, since we're here, may as well. I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Mm, yep. Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? Part human, part machine. I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That's not quite right. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? Mm. Mostly human. I like to think of myself as a person. It's great to hear you still stand by it. Uh, Through our huh? time together, I've learned a lot about Okay, you. so the game remembered and my one choices. Thing I know for sure is that you're yeah. not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Oh, thank you. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine would bother to help a drug addict believe that there is a place for him in our society? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Probably. Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? Would an actual person glitch? We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. And sabotage. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. Yep. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. Well, you do. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Aww. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. Thank you. It's right there on the desk. Yeah, and that was. This is where it all goes straight to pot. Okay, download data and our coordinates. Nice of everybody to supply a Robocop compatible spike, Hello, isn't it? Dr. Blanche, I got a special delivery for you. Cover, Doctor. But I haven't ordered anything. Yeah, it's a grenade. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Stand back, Doctor. We are one! Ah! Gosh, she's not alone. Robocop is 
Right. And it sounds like the place has caught fire. Okay, armor up, health pack engaged, slow mo on. Yes. We need to move. Lewis, there was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yep. Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Target acquired! Put the water down! My legs have been severed! Yeah, that they have, yes. Most unfortunate. Kneecaps for everybody. Is this really about the research? Yep. I will figure that out. I'm gonna say yes. Doctor. Oh, there you are. Right. Can we rest for a moment? No. No. We're in a burning building with people trying to kill us. We need to look for another way. I will make a way. Right. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. What? And breach. It's fine. They can claim it on the insurance. I think. Oh, more smoke. Head down and hold your breath, Doctor. That's good. Concentrate on the positive alert. Yes, do that. Need to move. Ooh. This heat is just too much. Evidence. We must keep going. Eyes on the Stompy, stompy, stompy. Did I just hear a cat? We cannot go through. Fire is blocking the way. And the cat. Save the cat! Yay, we saved the cat. Now we need to get through here. Ah, stairs again. Um, they count as critical hits, Legolas. It's one of those things. Oh, more evidence. Um, right, there's the doctor. Don't think there's anything else of interest here. Nope, right. Onwards. Thank you, doctor. Please don't stand out in the open like that. We found Grumpy. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. The sprinklers aren't working. It would very nearly be toasty. Also, technically, it's more like kneecaps than uh, groin shots Fire at the moment. Yoink. Right, open the sprinkler. Okay. Hooray! The hotel will not be an insurance job. Most likely that will be mercenaries. And we're going up. I will make a way. Also, I'm obliged to note these guys are wearing body armor but neglected to protect their crotches. So it's a very efficient method of disposing of them. And we're clear. Well, that's the hotel for you. Oh, thank God. But what shall we do now? Precinct. My partner is going to take you to someplace safe. I will find the guilty party using your computer's coordinates. Probably done, Rana. Probably. Occupational hazard, let's be honest here. I mean, he will live. He, he's going to end up in an OCP prison, so he might wish he hadn't, but yeah. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. You're welcome. What I think I'm trying to say is... Thank you 
You're My welcome. Duty, madam. <laughs> now please get out of here. So what now, Murphy? I find that computer. I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? OCP Mercs. Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. Aren't I, I a nice guy? I hear that. Okay, so... That's the good doctor out of the way, and a positive evaluation from her as well. Right, next concern. Signal tracking. The percentage of increasingly moved in that direction. Officer Washington is requesting backup on St. John Street, outside the fishmongers. Multiple armed suspects sighted. On the way. Let's see, Wash is over here. Yeah, that fishmonger is where... where the old man was. Heading the wrong way from the computer signal, though, but I'd better respond to this. Officer requesting backup takes priority, after all. After all, the next officer requesting backup could be me. Oh, hey, guys. Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. Lovely. In. You need backup. Okay. Washington, you're up. Remember your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure the perimeter. Works for me. The fact they paired Wash and Steph. Well, I mean, oh, Washington's still breathing. Mr. May's poster. Maybe he actually knows him. Maybe. Probably not. Let's get him. Uh, let's try to be more discreet than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. I'm more worried about the fact that I'm going to have to breach and clear this. Uh, you know what? Go to the auto because I can aim on that. Okay, headshots at best shots and breach it. Okay. Oops, today. Mm, well, there aren't going to be any survivors, Wash. Okay, breach again. One to the right. Really? Quit your wine and Priorities? Not like anyone can smell the difference. In we go. Open the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop. Yep, it is. Listen, you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't butt into this hood's business. Police do. And you're police on OCP's money. So you better scram if you don't want trouble. Hmm. I do not take orders from criminals. I am a police officer. I do not take orders from lowlifes. What the... What do you want, robot? I'm trying to be nice here. I, I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door. He's reloading. Who's that? A very slow reload, I might add. There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP. Well, the carpets had it. I don't know about you. You definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. Well, thank you. <sighs> that was intense. What Good do you mean? Job, you just Officer followed Washington. me and didn't get thank shot. You, <sighs> Still, it does illustrate something. Um. 
OCP had us deliberately ignoring calls from this part of town, also incriminating documents. Hooray. Sweep the rest of this on the way out. Huh. And they 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 could have just ordered us off like they did at the steel mill, so why did they go the covert route? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser implies there's something here they don't want us to see, but this is, well, beyond possibly the quality of the local fish, but that's not really an OCP business. We're right next to the old man's old apartment. And there was that passageway we couldn't get to before because one of the goons was blocking us. I wonder. Well, that's all cleaned up. I hey, wonder. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? He was behind me for most I of it. I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. You probably should. But good man. I'll wrap this up, Robo. You can head back to the precinct. Actually, I'm gonna have a look over here because there was this corridor we couldn't get to earlier. And we still can't get to it because someone's parked a rather inconvenient lorry in the way. But that doorway there. OCP didn't want me going in there before. At the time I thought they were just screwing with me, but now I wonder if that building's hiding something. It's convenient for OCP. Well, it's Detroit. I mean, question mark convenient. It's out of the way. No one would pay any attention to it. The fishmonger. Everything else has been demolished except the fishmonger. And the police have been covertly diverted from the area rather than being ordered off, which will provoke the question of, well, why don't you want us there? So... I'm going to... It's a Oh, it's a box truck. Okay, thank you. Um, I am going to stick my money down and say covert OCP laboratory right under our noses. Probably the Project Afterlife labs. All right, what else have we got? Serve and protect there. Star Motel, that gang stash is still there. A couple of serve and protects to deal with. And other objectives. Oh, yes. Track down that signal. Now, what's going on around here? Hello, citizens. Are you? Nope, you aren't. But someone here has blocked a fire hydrant. Yeah, that's a parking ticket. Yoink. Also, skills. Um, okay, if I drop. Um. Two more points into vitality, and then two more would get me the passive health regen. But I could also dump points into focus to double crit damage, because headshots and, yes, groin shots are crit damage, so uh, fall over and die, thank you very much. That might be worth it. Okay, you know what, let's uh, pop the points in there for the moment. One more point into focus to double up after that, and then max out on vitality, and then think about the combat stats. And signals getting stronger. Also, election night's getting busy. I didn't know you were involved in politics. Well, I don't give a shit about elections. Oh, but they give free food for handing out flyers. Well, I suppose that's motivation. Getting closer to that signal. Anything down here? Doesn't look like it, but we'll have a quick bimble, just in case somebody left... Oh, I don't know. Stolen property line. There's a garage just round here. Because ordering off didn't work last time. Hmm. Possibly, possibly. Okay, I already cleaned this area out. 
It kind of did work until we had a good reason to ignore the orders, but that's besides the point. Nothing on the X film lot. And okay, take a left here and then come up the riverbank. And still lose, still lost track of that signal, so it must be on the north side of the block. Ah, oh, no, no, it's like a bit more signal. Right, gang stash round here, apparently. Ooh, start with that stolen handbag. And. Yay. Yeah. There we go. Opens the door. Handy. Right. And looks like I've already raided out the stash. Nil else of note. Okay. Right. Catch this violation here. Public drunkenness. Yep. Drinking in a public place is against the law. I'm not drinking. I'm drunk already. And I am home. He makes an excellent point. He is not technically drinking. Find better accommodation. I will not issue a ticket. However, I recommend enrolling in the homeless health program. I'm not homeless. So get out of my house. Uh, ha. Okay, then. Possibly need something stronger than the homeless help program. Okay, we've got to serve and protect by the tattoo parlor as well. Signal's getting stronger as well. Okay, let's take a left here and then see what we get. Oh, so, okay, signal's okay, going up rapidly. I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. Mm -hmm. You're going to keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Of course. Affirmative. Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Lewis, out. Your arguments against voting are baseless. As residents of this city, you have an obligation. Get lost, kiddo. I don't want them to unsuspend my sentence for beating up a snot like you. That is a very smart decision. Also a very smart kiddo. Does raise the interesting question and age old problem of whether or not people should be obliged to vote rather than ooh, someone's got quite the oil leak there. Hazardous oil spill it. Yeah, um I'd say move your vehicle. Good luck moving your vehicle under its own power. You might need to get a tow rather than uh deal with that. Yeesh. Somebody's transmission has had it, I think. Right now, where's the signal? Okay, we're tracking away from it at the moment. Okay, getting stronger this way. Hotter, colder, colder, hotter. I'm going to bet it's inside this block to the right. That's all the oil panels. Yeah, one or the other. Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. Funny you should mention that. Okay. 4.6 tons of Any gravel. Job? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. Uh -huh. It's not how you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicken train, are you? No. I am much more than that. <laughs> okay. Push the container. Shit! You're like a freaking bulldozer. Is that yep. what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank, Thank you, you citizen. citizen. Yes. Right, one convenient sewer entrance coming right up. Hmm. 
another respectable citizen on their way to the sewers. Is there a party going on down there? Apparently, yes, there is. Let's hope it's not an alien party. Just make sure you don't drink anything. It might have a roofie. The man is not wrong about that. I, I don't think it's going to be that sort of party, though. I think it's going to be the uh, ballistic sort of party. Let's see what we've got. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact me if you back up. Stay safe. Aw, she, she's concerned, really. Right. Round and round and down and down and now the... Well, let's get the party started, shall we? Hello? Oh. Well, I suppose it could be worse. Hopefully there are no gators down here. I mean, I doubt anyone would bother to flush a gator down Detroit's sewers. Who'd notice? Uh, but, um... I suppose we might as well get the other obvious joke out of the way. Police work, it's a shit job, but someone's gotta do it. Got the local map right. Uh, easy to take this angle out. Oh, ho, oh, dead body. Looks like somebody got kept their witnesses out of the way. Recently deceased. What does calcium carbonate have to do with... Oh, you know what, never mind. So our friends went this way there's a solid wall there block there okay do, 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 do. hello gangers right coordinates sighted and it's on the wrong side of a very heavy hatch luckily there is a very convenient floodgate button Switch does not work. Why? Because somebody has probably fracked with the wires. Or just turned off the power. That that would do it as well. Oh, dear me, Wendell. Have you not been paying your contacts again? Dear me, Wendell, you do seem to have a habit of not paying your people. Convert him! Oh, how about I kill you for this? Unlikely. Ah! That was obliging of them with the grenade. I won't say. Oh, I. Crunch. Right, so Wendell hasn't paid his mercs either. That actually makes a certain kind of sense, because if, he, if he's OCP and. The uh, OCP are running out of cash. Wendell may not be able to pay these mercs. Mm, Gates has freezed him into a good point, and it is Detroit, so. It's not exactly a uh, mild winter up there, as I recall, Michigan. Or at least what I've read about Michigan's climate. So, yes, uh, I agree it is unlikely that we will run into a giant mutant gator down here. It's not New York, after all. And even there, I think it's a myth. Albeit an amusing one. Right, let us push button again. Aha! Button work! But yes, there's your answer. Uh, it's north of us, yeah. Um, but there's the answer for anyone who's wondering. The Mercs wear body armor, and they wear helmets. They do not armor their groins, mostly. So it makes it far more efficient just to shoot them there instead. And it is technically non-lethal. Technically. All right, double crit damage. Go. <laughs> Someone did dump eight gates in our room. Oh. One of these days I'll learn not to open my mouth. Yoink! Hello, unfortunate birds. Okay, he did go down rather faster. Right, yoink. 
Yes, yes, you did. And we're clear. An AKA 47. Not really a patch on the uh, route space magic, is it? I don't think I've bothered with a shotgun this entire game. What's the point? Right, we have a server, we have incriminating documents. Um, do a quick zoom round on Robovision, make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope, right. Oh, yeah. Recovery charge, don't need it. Right, let's see what we've got. Scanning data. Can't seem to get hold of him. Oh, ho. Lewis, can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers nope. already? Nope, the Mercs no, tapped I into a us. signal booster. Yeah, and they're probably the hooked into our comms. The entire OCP communication network runs down here. It looks like the mercenaries were tampering with it. Mm -hmm. I wonder what they were up to. Whatever they were planning, I am going to stop them. Yeah, nice of them to leave us some plans, wasn't it? What have we got? Uh, that looks like the hospital. Is that the precinct or the hospital? Not sure. Looks like I want to say a Marine Corps uniform. Basically, I think this is all just random stuff rather than plot relevant. Okay, out the other door and onwards, I suppose. Let's see what they've got to say for themselves. Armour up. Breach on. Yep, you are. Yink. Anyone else? Nope, but I do not have a good reason to go back and get that other uh, recovery charge, don't I? Health up. Snag. Alright, back to the G11. I like these guys. They keep a ready supply of ammunition. It's a very nice gun. Lake of... Ah, yes. Hello. Ooh, training disc. Thank you, skill points. I like you already. A mm, couple of random bits of stuff. And... Right. Round to the right and then sweep through the trail. And we're pretty much clear with these sewers. Go, 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 go. Oh, or maybe not. Oh! Okay. Suddenly I have a good reason to invest points in the engineering skill. Right, uh, let's see. Armour up. Bullet time on. Or we could just explode everything. Okay, maybe not the engineering skill then. I need six points to start hacking those turrets. Not even sure I could remote hack them even if I wanted to. Right, OCP crate in here apparently. Breach. And Please, don't kill me. one very Do lucky prayer. I am a police officer. Right. I had this nasty dream that I was a homeless guy living in the sewers. Congratulations. Oh, wait. On the bright side, you're a homeless guy living in the sewers who hasn't been shot by a bunch of heavily armed mercenaries trying to keep their secrets. So, that's an improvement, right? Okay, head on up. Another breach. Oh, hi. Pop the flashbang. They're both stunned. And now they're both down. Oh, grenade. Not sure who threw that. Alright, more ammo. Reload. A 
I've got to remember to only go for bullet time after I've got the uh, G11 up. Otherwise, you lose too much time waiting for Robo to raise the sights. Ooh. Okay, those things are definitely not worth hacking unless we run into a situation where there are lots of them. Could be useful in that situation, though. Speaking of lots of them, I just saw another laser beam tripping. Oh, hey, they brought landmines. At least I didn't hide them underwater this time. Right, armor up. Boom says me. Right, check the rest of it. Looks okay. Map. Right. Objective at staircase at heading to the left. Have a quick glance here though. Nil of note. Still hearing what sound like landmines. Okay, reload. Armor breach. And nobody. Oh hey, except one guy with a grenade. Nice try, sir. Nice try. Now, who threw that? That would be you. And you are... Well, if you're not dead, you wish you were. Congratulations. Okay, snag a recharge. And I think we're... Hmm, we're getting there. Armour up. Breach it. Really? Really? Who? Okay. Eliminate threats, he says. Donk. Armour. Oh, okay, I did not expect that to detonate on the door. Whoops. Right, armor's just about recharged. So, armor. Kaboom to you too, sir. Don't worry. They're all armless now. And that's a bomb. Lovely. Okay, assault rifles, more assault rifles, Molotov cocktails, evidence. They're gearing up for a low-level run of urban violence here. Why do I have a feeling that uh, election night might be a little bit disrupted? Make money, guns and silences, let's keep it hush-hush. Uh, not a bad tag like that. Uh, let's see, that looks like a breacher. All manner of fun stuff. Um, okay, OCP crate in here, apparently. Investigate the war room. Right. Get the charges first. And the uh, containers. Right, mercenary war room. Do, do, do. There is going to be an uptick in demand, yes. But look at it this way, they're still alive! And maybe they can get it out of the prison. Who knows? Right, war room. What do we got? A rather useful computer is what we've got. OCP, can I play count? Access restriction. See, Wendell is answering to the old man directly. Okay. Computer. That's not good. For? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. To the old man. OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? Yep. The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch. I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I'm uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. Appreciate it. Thank you. OCP headquarters now. What's this? 
Mm, sewage map of Detroit. Okay, so this was how they go around. And yep, there's the doctor. Looks like they knocked off a couple of other individuals as well. Alright, so the old man was behind it. Which kind of lends weight to the Robo CEO program, doesn't it? A little worried about all the bombs, though. I mean, it's not like you really need bombs to cover your tracks on that front, is it? Uh, not good. Okay, so to OCP headquarters, there to have a chat with a certain uh, corrupt corporate executive. Once I figure out how to get out of this sewer. Uh, right, through round to the left and double doors I couldn't open earlier. Do, 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 yoink! Right, done and done. Drive to OCPHQ. I think we're just about done with this section of uh, Detroit. I've cleared out those gang stashes from earlier. Right. Yeah, nothing else to do here. Time. Oh, yeah, there is something else to do here, and that is keep spending skill points. Onwards! Onwards, says me. Well, not into a blind alley, though. Okay. Really? Really? Okay, no, you're not actually smoking in front of the gas station this time. That would be unwise. Spectacularly unwise. Also illegal. So, OCP Headquarters. What could possibly go wrong storming OCP Headquarters? Uh, all the way to the top. Mustn't provide the express elevator, though. Hey, Murphy. We've been analyzing the files that you sent us. Go on. And it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation. Oh. And get this, it's taking place right now. To put a cherry on top, the old man is in attendance. Just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place, and you'll catch the old man red-handed. That is how I prefer to catch criminals. Hmm. It makes it so much easier at the trial. Right. I didn't know today's bring your kid to work day. Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have time for me. I know who you are, lady. You broke into the security room. You're up to something. Hey, Robo, could you resolve this issue we're having? Yeah, of course. What's going on? Um, do I need to step out and then step in again? Yoink. There's been a security breach I need to investigate. Someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. Oh, don't I'll worry. I'll coffee and donuts to welcome her. <laughs> she's, she's fine with the police you these days. For that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of old Detroit to create space for Delta City? Nope. No, I have a record of that issue. I have a record of that issue. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. Uh -huh. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? Yeah, yeah. OCP cannot hustle in innocent people and 
Protect the innocent and serve the public trust by exposing a fraud? Absolutely I can. I will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. Absolutely. In the meantime, however, I'll... Uh, you know, let's check the server room first. Because once I step into that lift, I suspect things are going to get very loud very quickly. Okay, server room's around to the back. Do, 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 do. Metal detectors everywhere. OCP's just a touch on the power. Oh, malfunction. I, I was wondering why they hadn't just gone off. <laughs> uh, it's OCP. Even in their headquarters, nothing works right. Now, where's this? Ah, there we are. Over here. Could you help me with these doors? Yeah, of course. Right, what do we need? Malfunctioning the electronic lock. Well, that's easily fixed. Warrant required. Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? I need a warrant. I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Thank you. That'll do it. Warrant granted. Now, I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also a nearby metal detector. Uh, huh. That should do it. Thanks for your help. I'm sure. Better not touch that computer. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, they'll be pissed. Yeah, I'm sure they will be. Right, objectives. Do I need to get the uh I need to get the uh guard out of the way? Right, so how do I distract him? Coffee and donuts? So, you're still here? Your conflict with the head of security? What is that about? He's a walking sack of incompetence. Unfortunately, you are. For example, he put this metal detector gate nearby with no one to supervise it. So that means I have to run and check it every time it beeps. And, and I'm started on the door made course. of metal. I think I can tell you that. You're an OCP cop, right? My boss made it so the new security code for each door is always some number that you can easily find around the door. Really? Thank God the doors aren't locked with keys. He'd probably make us leave keys under doormats. Okay. My duty awaits. So... He has to go and check the metal detector every single time. And door codes... New door code policy. Yeah, here we are. No more from codes. Every code is a number you can find on the nearby post poster. David Hamill, head of security. That is worth knowing, Mr. Hamill. You're an idiot, but thank you very much. Right, so... Stompy, stompy, stompy. Don't see anything else of interest. It's just that one computer I need to retrieve. Okay, let's go distract this guy. Every code is a door you can find nearby. Uh -huh. And if I were to have a look in here, no, 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 just a private little cubby hole, nothing of interest, certainly nothing illegal. Certainly nothing like, say, uh, walking through a security gate. All right, I'm going to need the dash ability for this. Come on, go, 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 go. Guard has to come sprinting past, which means now I'm on the clock until he realizes that I'm setting him up. Do, 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 do. He's distracted, he's distracted, he's distracted. And nice and provide the compatible data spike. Download in place. Download retrieved. There we go. Mmm, pizza. Okay, maybe not donuts then. Pizza instead. Computer password was written on the bottom of each keyboard as well. 
Yeah, he's, uh... <laughs> I have to agree, the uh, guy is a walking sack of incompetence. Five and a quarter inch floppies just left out. Wow. <laughs> right, back to Sam and let's see what she's got to say. Also have a quick poke around as well. I'm, I don't really have a warrant for this, but... Well, you know how it goes. General free-floating suspicion of everyone and everything. Fourth Amendment? What Fourth Amendment? Besides, I have permission to enter the building, don't I? I think. Possibly. Anyhow, let's head back. And also make the guard run for the exit again. OCP HR team. We've reduced the start by 2,781 with no harm to efficiency. Because the efficiency was a joke anyway. Here you go, Samantha. Some data for you. Estimates. Do you have them? Here they are. Make good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. Oh. But there is one more issue. Security footage. If I'm going to expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Yep. Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. Uh huh. Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. You could sure use a pick-me-up. You look pale, to be honest. Whatever it takes to protect the innocent. I will do what needs to be done to protect the innocent. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. You never told me what drives you. Why so eager to fight OCP? I fight the bad guys. And when it comes to bad guys, OCP is the worst. They forced my parents to give up everything they'd worked for. Okay, solid they answer. They accused my mother of lying in her documentaries meant to expose OCP. She didn't take it well. But revenge is good motivation, not a reason. I want to spare others the suffering that we went through. Even if I have to sacrifice my career or freedom. Uh -huh. Now's not the time for this conversation. We have work to do. Yep, yeah, and like she says, I could use a pick-me-up. So, back to the security room. Enter the code. Mmm. 2781. Thank you, Chief of Security. Yoink. And like she says, just shuffle some files. Boop. Oh dear, looks like all the security footage went missing when I took a recharge. That's uh, most inconvenient. Whatever will OCP do? <clears throat> And it's a completely legitimate access. I mean, I could close the door and relock it, but uh, why bother? Everyone just assumed the head of security uh, stepped out and didn't bother to lock the door behind him. Who's going to know? I did some shuffling. Thank you. The people of old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them. They probably will. Let's be honest here. But that's Samantha's investigation done. So, main plot, Welcome the old man. The products. How may I help you? You can tell me where the old man is. A meeting regarding afterlife is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. Thank you. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. Oh yes, definitely the highlight. I have a warrant. Let me get that door for you. Oh, Mayor. They treated you. Not on my watch. Going up. Yes. Ah, oh, thank you. Go to executive classroom. Ah, lift. Time for an awkward conversation with the other mayoral candidate. Beautiful, isn't it? This Soulless will hope. be my term. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. The city's you worst ROCP. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth. 
more than any of us. These miserable people, crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. Because OCP won't let them I have it better. I swear, I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Uh, ha. You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. I That's doubt why. it. I wouldn't mind you giving me a nod during your public appearances. Nah, the chance. You need a little push in the ratings. Remember, it's your freedom we're talking about. Unlikely. Anyway, great talk. Bo Mills, Bo Robocop. Well, he can continue fighting for my support. He's not going to get it. Okay, so there's the man himself. We've got a couple of other angles to look at. All right, pick a corner, any corner. Oh, ho, oh, more execs. Ah, conference room. Uh, can someone take this robot away from here? I'm trying to work. Really? It looks to me like you're just admiring the view. Don't know how accurately they've uh, got the Detroit skyline, honestly. Kind of, not. I don't know the Detroit skyline well enough to be able to say anything. Right. There is no one here. Of course what? there isn't. Look around. See if we're missing something. It's almost certainly a oh PCB. Either that or we're just late. Wait, isn't this the room that Dick Jones went out of at uh, high speed? I think it might be. Slightly rearranged, of course, or was that not a corner room? Not sure. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at this PCB, see what we've got. Uh, change board to tier 5.1. Oh, this looks like it could be fun. Right, okay, back up. Uh, reset the chips in this board. We'll load... 5.1 board okay we've got ammo with a right hand tier set then if we put a left hand T piece in there gets me piercer and tightens up weapon spread weapon damage um, 90 degree right is what I really need. Or, ju or just a dead end. So that'll do. Par horizontal pass through to deal with that bunch. I'll use... I have to be careful where I use some of these cross pieces. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, that cross piece can go there to make that turn. We'll weapon damage for 25% that one. Doom, doom rounds. Some rounds may cause more damage. Oh, this sounds like an absolute humdinger of a setup, doesn't it? Right, vertical slot there to avoid tripping either of these debuffs. Um, <laughs> okay, we'll cross piece on the reload because I can do that safely without, again, triggering any downsides. Uh, down and left. Automatic ammo feed at no need to reload. Haha, <laughs> yes. Like the sound of that. Um, hmm. Let's see. Cross link there. Cross link there. Can't use actually could could cross link there on the reload. So actually why am I even bothering? Because I've got an automatic feeder, there's no reload, so the reload speed buff is pointless. Um but there's also nowhere else. Actually no, 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 that's a lie. I can use a cross chip there to get more damage. And we'll go for a relatively weak pass through just because the reload speed is wasted as long as I've got the auto feeder. Um, let's see. 90 degree up. Right, you'll do in a pinch. Horizontal pass through. Or I could just use a horizontal pass through from there, which would... Uh, never mind. 
uh, snap you in for the moment. And then I want a vertical pass. Okay, primary circuits are all activated. Can I tweak my loadouts to get more percentages in? 14% there, 12% there, nope. 15% uh, is okay. 15% wait, that's a reload speed boost, so again, pointless because of the auto feed perk. Uh, 26, 25, 25, 26. You know, I think that unless I can improve this 15% damage chip with a vertical or T left pass, I've uh, got a 16%. Oh, 22%. We'll go with that. And I think that is about as set as we're likely to get, unless I've got a 90 degree up right that I can use to boost my damage. 15% there. You know what? Every little helps. Let's roll with it. 15% damage boost. So, 116% damage boost. Reload speed irrelevant weapon spread down by six percent magazine capacity also irrelevant because you know ammo feed this should be fun <laughs> you, you know actually yeah I, I the more i look at this the more i think this is a pretty exact replica of the ocp boardroom in robocop one all right let's see what we've got Nothing with him. Uh -huh. Until now. Afterlife. OCP's answer to death itself. As a front runner in human machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. Mm -hmm. Do not say I did not warn you. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life. Or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Uh -huh. my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human it rights. It would, yes, Legolas. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife. Eternity today. So, Robo CEO was definitely on the cards. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Uh huh, nice for you to show up. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So, you've seen the ad, huh? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not a robot, just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling Afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man cancelled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? Exactly. Right. What about the money? What about all the money that went to do research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. Oh, you have no idea. Where did they conduct the research? Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know, but I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. And are you, yeah, are you selling a defective product? Because that is technically fraud. So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. 
At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. <laughs> Just the next of kin. they'd be dead, you know? Yes, where is the old man? Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. Yes, I would. Problem is, if the old man... Suit yourself. Oh, I intend to. If the old man authorised this, then he also authorised Wendell's little trick cigarette lighter. Well, it's Mushroom Samba time again, isn't it? Excuse me. Why was he smiling when he signed it? He never smiles. That must be a catch. He set me up for something. Keep thinking that. Do you think they you have to stop coming down? to the office? You no longer work here. You were fired last month. <laughs> Can't tell the wife, can you, sir? Uh, right, skills again, I think. No, 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 can't. I need two more points for maximum vitality. Bear that in mind. All right, time to go confront the old man. Um. Put your hands up. You are under arrest. Becca. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As Your man's died. CEO, yeah. Consumer products passed away earlier this morning. We at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? Right, so... About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. Spoilers for Robocop the 3, they will. The company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground. Especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. Mm -hmm. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Wendell is still out there. Wendell is still out there. The market will take care of him. With no one to finance his stunts, he'd need an army willing to mindlessly fight for him. And for free. Have you still got the remote for those robots, Becca? Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. You, those robots the ones are that will fight mindlessly oh, for whoever's holding their adorable. remote? Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the arms expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! Uh, huh. It's time to celebrate. Yes. Let's the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo. That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. No, it doesn't. Uh, you know, I had this really sort of song again. Yeah, you know, I heard a story about the uh, Robocop. Because um, of the tragedy that has struck our company, uh -huh. you'll be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Of course it Thank isn't. You. This is OCP we're talking about. <laughs> so yes, uh, in the original Robocop, um, there is a point where I think it's Bodica is has a couple of ladies of negotiable virtue as company and wants to talk business. So he dismisses them with the word, bitches leave. And obviously bitches come as a callback to that. Apparently the actor who played Bodica 
didn't speak English, well, colloquial English all that well, and thought that the term was far milder than it actually was, and was utterly horrified when he found out what it actually meant. Right, going down. So the old man has shuffled man off dead. this mortal yeah, coil. I just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? We wait and see if they plug Back him into a new body. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. Yep. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? I don't know. An arms Detroit export? Arms Expo. Yeah. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the Expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Right. But, hang on a second. Meg, Eve, Meg, said that they were a hundred years away from having a lifelike human cyborg shell. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. No, he wasn't. Such a tragedy, but uh, are our bonuses safe? Nope. <laughs> I hope it won't be that Becker joke about security concepts. Bad news. <laughs> Did the Japanese pick up the company line? Yes. Uh, you you do you. You do you. Um so yes, uh the Detroit Arms Expo. And Wendell needs an army that will mindlessly fight for him, such as the urban enforcement droids? Hmm, wonder what could possibly go wrong there. Yeah. Okay, so the man himself is dead. Need to find Becca at the expo. Just need to keep an eye out here, just in case, you know, loot. Stand on the podium. Oh, thank There's you. An old friend waiting for you there already. Ah. Oh. oh, yes, I remember Robocop 2. Well, at least they haven't plugged the old man's brain into it, because this is the only other working cyborg chassis that I can think of. All right, let's do this. We have to be on the lookout for Antonov. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. <laughs> okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. All Welcome, right. Welcome, everyone, to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please. Before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Three, two, one. Now, let's start the yeah. party. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and Robocop 2. Mm -hmm. That's right. But much like our late CEO, Robocop is the past. We need to look at the future. No applause. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement. The UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. The audience are all going to die, aren't they? UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. 
but no need for alarm. UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Okay. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for RoboCop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? The police were fired. The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. <laughs> and rightfully so. My machines are superior in every way. Except that when I killed 25 of them. presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that Robocop's words and actions have influenced ratings for both candidates several times already. So, Robocop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills' promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Hey, it could work. Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? Uh, I support neither of them. I support no one. That's surprising. Based on your earlier comments, many people came to the conclusion that you were siding with Kuzak. Mm -hmm. But I think we can take your statement as a withdrawal of support. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots. It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of. Huh? I just need to find... the remote. Oh, boy. And where did I put it? It... it... It's uh, Antonovsky's. Is, is that normal? No, no, it isn't. Huh? I. It's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. Tell me what you've the got the remote. Are you talking about? What was that? That was a heavy caliber sniper rifle. What is happening? I lost my remote. That's what's happening. Contain the situation and look at Okay. No burst fire mode, unfortunately. Oh. Pop that in. Come on. Bear down. Reload. Oh, of course, I don't need to reload anymore, do I? Okay. Armor up. So, secure hall A. Nice try. Anybody else? Yay for Robo Trick Shot mode. <laughs> so nice not to be uh, gunned down by everyone who's in the way. Ooh, heavy machine gun. Oh, armor load up. Stop resisting arrest. Mm, sorry, no, I intend to carry on resisting arrest. If you don't mind. Was there chairs, chairs, chairs? Of course, there would be anything illegal as an arms expo. Beyond, you know. The contents of most of the arms expo. 
Uh, right. One left. Okay. Machine gun it is. Where are you? Surrender. And there's a very handy charge back there. Yoink! Yoink! Right, restocked, reloaded. I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. And all A is killed. No, damn it! But there's another way. Uh huh. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the expo depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. Lovely. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Uh -huh. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it. Or fix it. Engineering level six required. Well, so much being discreet. What is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Mm, okay, no. since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. This memory is glitchy. I think I prefer the auto. Oh, you have a grenade launcher. Um, I was never very impressed with those. Bullets seem to work much better. Let's continue the fight. Mm, no, no, that's not how this works. Angry robot with a sniper rifle. Unfortunate. Armor on. I think Wendell found his army of mindless robots who'd be willing to fight for him without complaint or payment. I think we all know who's stolen the remote, don't you? Really, a really good Star Wars buddy. Cop dramedy with the B1 and the B2. Yeah, yeah, it could work. <sighs> All right, patch, slag. Peacekeeper 400. Now for civilian you. Oh my word. Um, what on earth would you need that for in a civilian capacity? All be secure. Becca, if you're done making... Oh, who's a good little exploding Fido? With a very, very large gun. Uh-huh. You say this that. This EMP device, how does it affect me? Don't worry. Nothing will happen. To your brain, at least. And that's the part you cherish the most, anyway. You'll be fine. Pave the way to the depot. Oh, and don't bother you. We don't want you to burn to burn out. You know what? The Ed is shooting up the uh, the the UEDs. I'm quite content to just let them have their way. Uh, never mind. Why is this device here?
Okay. Yep, man's got a plan. Right, we'll just wait for this rocket barrage to finish. There we go. Dash. So much easier now I'm fully specced. Right, go, 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 go. Get close. Climbing on, go for the weak spot. Armor up. Okay, you're having a bad day all of a sudden. Will the shockwave work? Health up, armor engaged. go. Armor back. Bullet time on. Okay, it's done on. Armor on. And finish it. And down it goes. Full C secure. Done. Alright. When in doubt, apply a lot of bullets. Also, grab a reload for the machine gun. Good. We're close. And don't be afraid. Even if the EMP device fries your circuits or something, is it really such a big sacrifice to stop this mess? Yes! And I'm willing to make it. Oh, good, good. Um, I'm so glad you approve... Of course, it's not him who's going to have his circuits fried. Okay, where are we? One, that does not look intact. Oh no. We have a problem. Wendell! I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Becker. Since I have you here, thank you. For providing me with this little thing. Uh, I was terrific. For a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna get. Robocop, now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake. Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. Good luck, you're carrying the jammer out of range. Right. Suan Tonovsky. Apparently nobody's told this particular batch of mercs that they haven't been paid yet. That looks unfortunate. Right, uh, let's see. Snag the recovery charge. Pop armor. Hmm. 
Thankfully, the auto trip shot targeting works extremely well. Right, what have we got? Ooh, something went beep here. I've got multiple recovery charges. Nice of them to give me a restock. And a trading disc. Thank you. Okay, skills. Right, one almost got up to maximum vitality. So activate there. Go, go, go. Right. Let's get after Wendell. Who is no longer uh, even pretending to be my friend? Yeah, I'm on Wendell. Oh, never mind. Oh, hey, doesn't this just scream massive gun battle? Uh oh, glitch time. Murphy. Yeah. Uh, oops. Really? Washington? Uh, dick move. Dick move, guys. Dick move. Alex Murphy. We have to fix you. We have to erase Target you. Acquired. Come on. Okay. Time for another happy house of horrors trip, I think. Dud. It's all right. He only needs one leg. I'm still instinctively going for a reload. Oh. We must erase okay. you. Okay. Charming. Industrial meat, okay? It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, oh, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Uh huh. Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip, OCP implanted in your brain, the one that was supposed to help you, it served as my. It made sure that you could never touch me. It's activated with this. Yep. But I'm sure you already put that together. The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Ah, huh. well, it's nice to know he cared. Now that's a visual. But since the old man's gone. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Good night, Murphy. Oh, it's been exhilarating. Hmm, you probably should have hung on to your safety. The city. Us again? Oh, please. Well, this is a pretty pickle, isn't it? Oh. Oh, hey. He's waking up. Oh no. What do we do? Hey. He's in so much pain. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? Uh, How do we do that? With a I screwdriver. Uh, 
There's a button here that will shut him down. That would be a good start, yes. And now, if you don't mind doing some amateur surgery. Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. Insurance. They wanted Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way. Without getting their hands dirty. Terrific. Those scumbags. What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. It just needs a couple of screw bolts. You think? What about the chip? You think Lewis would know how to do this? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. It's not a question of squeamish. It's a question of precision. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. Yoink! There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? Should I turn him back on? Do it. Please. So, Murphy, how you doing? I'll tell you in a moment. Doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Nope. Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? Whoa. He has. Oh, hey. Is this an open house? Coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire. She's right. I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast to send a message. Oh, terrific. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you that help is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OC. I mean, he's not wrong. They all promised you a better life and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into the Infesto War. I feel your frustration. I empathize with it. But let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground. And from the ashes, let's rebuild something new. So when Samantha something said that Detroit was on fire, she meant it completely literally. Okay. This is bad. I mean, can we do anything about it? I mean, we've all been fired. Never stopped us before. But where do we start? Right here would the be good. The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I thought you would never ask. Can I have my helmet back, please? Thank you. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else? There are phones that need answering and no staff to do it. Congratulations, sure. you've just been Why deputized. Not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? Does it matter? No, but whoever did, they'll have a hell of a time cleaning up this mess. Oh, yeah. Not that it really matters, because it's all a sideline anyway. So that's where we're going to leave it for tonight. And as watching says, that's a lot of incoming calls. I'll see you next time when we start answering them. Probably with bullets. Thank you one and all, and good night.